Well, the first round of the President's Cup playoffs has been finalized. The matchups are set, the schedules are made, and it's just about time for postseason hockey to be underway in Macon for the fourth consecutive season. We'll cover everything you need to know about the first round of the playoffs right here. I'm Alex Von Koydel, and this is your weekend preview. This past Sunday night, the selection show took hold for the challenge round. The top-seeded Peoria Rivermen chose first. They went with the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. The Birmingham Bulls chose second. They went with the Fayetteville Marksmen. And the Huntsville Havoc had the third selection. They ended up settling on the Pensacola Ice Flyers, leaving the Mayhem as the only team remaining, thereby booking a series matchup in the first round with the fourth-seeded Knoxville Ice Bears. This is a matchup which could potentially bode well for the Mayhem, who went 5-1-1 and -1 against the Ice Bears over the course of the regular season. They also swept them in a home-and-home -home series two weeks ago. Uh, but in spite of this, Mayhem head coach Leo Thomas is ensuring that his team is prepared for the high-stakes games yet to come and that they are fully aware of the threats that the Ice Bears can pose. Uh, yeah, no, well, first I, I heard all the guys were kind of together for the selection thing, and, you know, it's always good to hear uh, guys, guys being together and... and uh, know that they're, they're comfortable with the decision or the opponent that we have. And, um, you know, with Knoxville, they're, they're a good team. They got a lot of, they're young, but they're small, fast. They got a lot of skill and um, they play really well in their barn for, for it being a small barn. And um, they use the ice and, and stuff well in their advantage. So um, plenty, of, plenty of things we got to work on, obviously. Um, got to get the pucks faster and, and stuff like that. And we kind of know what we, we have to do it's just all about executing it and, and working hard at it. No doubt a difficult situation awaits but the return of goaltender Jordan Ruby has given the team a jolt of confidence that they can make another deep run this year. While Ruby was in Macon earlier this season he uh, outshined virtually every other goaltender. His save percentage of 941 and his goals against average of 1.90 were both at the top of the SPHL and with his return, the Mayhem are poised to be a very difficult team to score against in the playoffs. Um, obviously, as I could tell, uh, I mean, every time, every season you have ups and downs and uh, it seemed like Macon, uh, you know, had to go through some adversity this year. But you, you learn no good lessons from pleasure in life. It's through going up and down the adversity. And as I could tell today, there's a lot of good forwards and some good defense. And um, I think it's, it seemed like Macon was winning some games at the end of the year. Obviously, Peoria is a tough schedule, but it seemed like they, they were uh, turning around the bend in a positive way at the end of the season. And anyone will tell you, you, you want to kind of be headed in that right direction going right in the playoffs. So I'm excited to join them and uh, just work as hard as I can and give them a chance to win. Game one will take place on the road up in Knoxville on Friday night. Game two will be the following night Saturday right here at the Macon Centerplex. Puck drops at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get your tickets by visiting the Mayhem website, MaconMayhem.com, or just by swinging by the box office right here at 200 Coliseum Drive.